Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a little nail haul. Um, please excuse my nails, they look horrible. If they're not done, they, I'm taking them off so I can reach the set. Thick and stiletto with some marble, I don't know. Anyway, so let's continue with what I was talking about. I'm doing a little haul so you guys can see some kind of the things that I kind of read up on, on on the monthly basis or whenever I run out, not really monthly because some things don't run out in a month, but some things do. And then just a few purchases that I've made so far. I mean, some things take longer to get here, so I had to wait so I could do this haul to use them. Um, okay, so I hope you guys will see my address there. Okay, so oh, I wanted to I left my scissors over there. Okay, whatever. Um, this is the only thing I kind of didn't open. I opened everything else, but I'm going to show you. But this is one thing that is unopened. Um, there's a little scissor here. Okay. So, let me open this. I already know what's... Oh, it's going to open right here. Like, come on, I heard me. So I purchased this on eBay. And let's see. So the last um, monomer that I bought um, was actually a little, it was on, I think, Stella or something. It was like $40, $41 or something. And this one is $48.99. This is the cheapest one I found online, on eBay actually, you know, online in general. Um, but I mean, that's how much I usually go. So this one was $48.99. And this is a 32 ounce. So that's not bad. So I do highly suggest for all of you guys looking for really good, inexpensive monomer, at least at a decent price. Go for the Mia Secret monomer. I really like it. Okay. I don't know why it's, it was in the USPS bag and then it's in the UPS bag. I don't know. Okay. So, oh look. That's how it came. Okay. So, I guess they did this so it wouldn't spill. Alright. Saran wrapped it, but it is closed and it didn't spill at all. So, like I was saying, this is the 30 the 32 ounce bottle. I wish I had a, a smaller ounce bottle so you guys can see what. Basically, I think um, I think the young nails bottles are six ounces each, and they're twenty dollars a bottle. So, 32 ounces. For 48 bucks, 50 maybe, beats that at a better price. You know what I mean? Because you're spending more money buying young nails and stuff. And yeah, they're they're great products. If I have to, I'll buy that too. If I'm in a hurry, you know, go to like Cosmo Prop or so on Centric, and I've run out. But I did re up because my other one's almost empty. So I usually put them in these bottles that I found at Sally's. So this is convenient because. You just refill it and then you put it in the dappin' dish and that's it. It's more convenient that way. So yeah, that's the first thing I got. And then I ordered these on eBay. I, I forgot if it was a hundred of them, I think. I think it's like a hundred of them. So these are buffers and I use these for pedicures and I do usually use these bigger blocks for when I'm doing, this one's dirty, but I usually use these bigger blocks when I'm doing artificial nails like acrylic nails. But these are actually sanitizable, you can sanitize these because they're going on an artificial nail. Well, um, rather these are going on a natural nail, I mean you can use these for artificial nails too. But I'd rather throw them away. I wouldn't want to get them confused with the other ones. But um, I'll probably just use these for pedicures. But you could use these on artificial nails. I actually used to use that and toss them out. But if you're going to use 
the other ones on artificial nails it kind of saves me money just don't use them too much just use them i use one buffer for every three person for the artificial nail now these buffers on pedicures or a natural nail like a manicure you throw that away because it's touching the natural nail so that's what i got i got these for like seven something seven i don't know what but it was like seven bucks on ebay as well and this will keep me stocked up for a good minute for pedicures i love those buffers i i bought bought them before so yeah okay so the next thing i got is this mia secret white acrylic powder french and it does say um 3d so you could use it for 3d art as well and the this one I, I had a smaller one which is right here it still has some in there i'm almost done with it but i really really like this and this one was 9.99 i believe and this one was like 15 dollars 15.99 i believe so this is actually the better deal because this one is two ounces and this one is four way better deal and it did when i opened it i think there is a lid on it yeah but it's pretty bigger so it's not bad so I'll just put that here already, might as well. Okay. And then, what else? Should I do, oh wait, for this. okay. And then I got, I see everybody using these on YouTube, like all the nail picks on YouTube. So I was like, hmm, that glue must be good because everybody uses it. So this is the KS glue. I don't know if you guys can see. Is it too bright up in here? Probably, but these are, kds um glues i'll probably just leave a link down below on all my stuff that i got today just so you guys can easily find it um this glue i don't remember how much this was i got four for like eight bucks but i think i got ripped off but i just really wanted to try so i was like whatever i don't got time to look i've been so busy i don't got time to look for the cheapest one for this one like i did the monomer but um i wanted to try it anyway but this glue is amazing and I'll tell you guys another thing. I got this ASP one at Sally's. Um, and I haven't used it yet, but I think I used to use it back in the day. I don't remember. And then I got this one at Cosmo Prof. So the KDS ones were eBay. The other one, ASP Sally's. The IBD one was Cosmo Prof. So you open this and it's, it's in there or somewhere. And it comes with this thing, which I never know what that's for. Because I used to use the brush on glue to this, but for some reason, the one that's in this thing works a lot better for whatever reason. So, that's what I got for that. And then I got this IBD Hard Gel UV LED Clear. And I bought this because um, I wanted to try something different for my unicorn nails. And I did try it on someone already, but... I don't know. I don't know if I really liked it because then she changed her mind and she got something else. So I had to take it off. But she usually, I usually use the C and D one. The Breeze the Gel, which is soft. It's a little harder. So I thought this would work better. But I, I'll have to try it again on myself or something or on a client. But that's what I got. This was $9.99, I believe. And this one is 0 0.5 ounce. Okay. Then I got some nail tips. These are the nail tips I usually use. Um, I got, I think two, was it two packs of the natural? Yeah, I think so. Wait, this is one pack, okay. Yeah, I got two packs. So I got this one, and I got this one. Now, these, I'll show you what they look like. Are these it? Okay, so that's what these look like. Y'all see? I don't want y'all to zoom in on my ugly now. Um, that's what they look like. They're a little more like straight. So I love these. And these are good for like if somebody just wants a long or medium long or like short, medium nails. Um, versus, I'll show you guys the other ones. This, I'm not hauling this, but I'll show you like an example. So this would be an Eden tip, and I like Eden tips because they are um, a little bit longer. Actually, let me show you. 
So that was the one. So I'll show you the one on the other one. So these are both number ones. So the Eden is a slightly longer, very slightly. And then the Eden ones are straight as well as these. Uh, this has a little bit more of an arch just a little bit and then the biggest difference with these like a big comparison is that these are a little hard to bend which means they have more structure and these are very flimsy they bend very easily see so i like both for you know their own reasons there's these are stronger so these are the eden these are the natural tips that i get off ebay i get the edens on ebay too the other difference is the price difference and I believe I pay I don't remember how much I paid for them. I want to say okay the Edens I know are 12 these ones the flimsy ones but they give you a great ballerina and then the other the other regular ones are I want to say they're like it depends you can get them for like four dollars or five dollars something like that I'll link it below so Wait, so yeah, I got two of those natural tips, and then I got one of the clear tips. Now the clear tips, they look like this. They're clear. And these are just like my the naturals that I get. They're very sturdy. But they're also not as long. So if you wanted to do a longer nail, you can glue them kind of like... Well, you will take like a number two and probably take a number uh, three, a smaller one, and you glue them. So that way you can build it longer and then you cut as you please. So you could do that. Okay. So the other thing that I got was... The Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator, and I got the Mia Secret um, Brush on Glue Gel Resin. And these I use to secure my stones, so I would put a nice amount of glue, and then I would spray a good amount of the activator spray to freeze the stones in place because it's a thick glue. This gel resin is a thick glue, so it won't dry right away, and this will basically help to dry faster. Oh, and the price for these, I think it was two for 12 around that price. If you buy them individually, I think it's like maybe $7 or something each. Six something, seven something. Okay, and then the last thing I was really excited to get <clears throat> is a couple of acrylic powders because I, I'm starting to get, I, felt, I feel like every nail tech is starting to transition into acrylic services, like acrylic colored powders only because it is such a hassle to have to like paint okay one there's like a lot of pros and cons to this okay say you're going to put the colored powder right and the client can't come to you very often and they come to three every three weeks or every month so maybe a colored powder will work for them better because they don't have time to come every two weeks to get a fill and the color will last them longer for some reason color fits last a lot longer i don't know what it is and they're probably sturdy or something and then another advantage is that there's no chipping and they don't have to worry about like oh no one chip i have to go back you know what i mean so that's an advantage i'll do a video about this because i think some people are kind of pro for it and some people are against it like some, I've asked some of my clients and a lot of them are like, oh my gosh, I would love colored powders. I don't got to worry about chipping and I don't have to come every two weeks. And then there's very few, I think, clients that will say they need to come every two weeks. They have to get a fill and they don't like to look at the same color the whole time, basically, for that long. So I guess it just depends on your client. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just incorporate this into my services more and we'll see how that goes and maybe most of my clients will probably just transition to it or maybe some of them won't some of them will still just clear and then changing their gel polish every two weeks or three weeks or whatnot um so yeah we, that goes that's what that's about but um so basically i got one two 
two, three. I got, they're all from Glam and Glitz, right? Yeah, they're all from Glam and Glitz. And this is from the Glow Acrylic Collection. And so I got the color Electric Love. And then I got Glow, af what is it? Afterglow? I don't know, I can't read that. I'm like reading backwards. Okay, and then I got Lightning Blue. And I specifically bought a blue and a pink because I think I have a pink, another pink already, but it was like a different pink and this is a darker pink. And I don't know why, this blue was just really pretty the way it glowed and I really like the way this pink glowed. And then I got the white one in case somebody wants to do like a French ombre with the glow. I thought that was cool. That's the article. I'm really like, interested in that one. And then I got a couple colors, four colors from the Color Blend Collection. And I am waiting for another um, Glam & Glitz color coming in. I think it's called Bright Lights. It's like a highlighter color, kind of like this one from me, a Secret Citrus. I use this a lot on clients that don't like the neon color. And so that's what I'm waiting for. But anyway, this is from the Color Blend Collection. This one's called Bubbly. This is like a baby blue. I have not swatched any of these, so maybe I'll do a swatch video because I really want to know what these look like. And I need to swatch some, I made some color acrylics, which I'm still um, trying to do a video for that so you guys can see how you can make your own, that way you don't have to um, pay for them. But to me, I was kind of thinking about like the pricing, I was like, it kind of like, I don't know, like it kind of, I don't know if it defeats the purpose, but I feel like, you're probably not gonna be that great at I'm sorry if you guys can hear my AC like I don't know why it turned out anyways so you guys will probably I don't know it depends I guess because I noticed like I bought hold on I bought this big thing of Mia Secret Clear powder and it is how many ounces well it says 1.5 pounds that's what it says 1.5 pounds and i used a lot of it to make clear powders but i, I mean i made a lot i'll show you guys a video of them one day the collection that i have but i used a lot of it to do that i don't know if you guys can see the part but it's like literally now it's literally right here and i feel like i just bought this to make colored acrylic right because i filled them up in Something like this. <gasps> no, I need them. I'm gonna have to do a video right now for this. Thanks, babe. Yeah. <gasps> Thank you. I just got my my nail dust extractor. I'm doing a video right after this, so you guys need to watch that too now. Anyways, let's finish this one. So so what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, I feel like I wasted a lot. So I don't know, if you guys wanna save time and whatnot, I, I would rather just, if you really don't have to make them, I just buy the color to put like, I think I, I got this on Nail Supply Glamour, I believe that's the site called. I'm gonna be linking everything down anyway if I get something wrong, but this is where I got these from. The Glam & Glitz sites are a little bit more expensive, like $2 more. These save you $2 um, a little container. So these were $12.99. So anyway, like I was saying, I got Bubbly. I got, um, I tried to look for a true red because I like this red from me a secret. Oh, okay. And this one's called Red Apple. Let me see if they kind of look alike. They do. Okay, so we'll see really when they swatch them. But I got very special because I wanted a nice red because I love red and I feel like people use red a lot. I feel like people are gravitating towards the blue. I got a black because I wasted all my black. That was this little thing of me a secret. Somewhere over there. But this one's called Blackmail. That's what I got there. And then I got the color blend. What is it? Where's the name? Where's the name? Oh, I'm like out of it. Um, rose. This one's in the color rose. Are these closed off too? Or can you see the color right away? These are closed off. Okay. So that's what I got. I'm really, I really want to put this pink on my nose too. Okay, so that's basically all I got. Let's put this away because that's not included. That's all I got um, for nail mail and I think I did get all this on, on yeah, it's all nail mail. Um, but yeah, 
thank you guys for watching i will be opening that extractor extractor dust collector i don't know if they call it an extractor too i'll be opening that dust collector so stick around for that video so i can get so i can give you guys my honest review and yeah thank you for watching and please comment down below any questions that you may have follow me on my instagram it's cali underscore love underscore five six one and please subscribe and hit the post notification little bell so you are notified when i upload videos because if you don't then it probably will come up and you won't see any i don't know maybe it'll come up when you're recommended i don't know but yeah thank you guys for watching once again love you guys have a good one bye